Hey, you guys, I'm back again. I got time today. But anyway, I wanted to talk about how I get started during the school year, like the beginning of the school year. Um, The process of saying, okay, I'm going, we're going to homeschool again this year. So in my school, I live in a Commonwealth state. So a lot of things vary. They have standards of learning, SOL testing, and they are some of the most egregious tests in my opinion, that you can have for children. However, I use the CAT testing, C-A-T. I think it's called California Aptitude Test. Anyway, girl, you go Google C-A-T testing. I want to say right now they have the test on sale for $20. So what ends up happening is we already tested. Generally, you test the beginning of the year and you test at the end of the year. You can do in between whatever you want you one thing about homeschooling you can do what best suits your child so if you feel like if you finish a learning session or whatever you want to test you can go ahead and test however if you have the type of student that gets overwhelmed with a lot of testing it's up to you however as long as you get it done so again in my school district you have to have the noa which is called the notice of intent so the notice of intent is to let the school the, dis, the school district know this student will not be coming to public school this year. This plan, this person plans to homeschool their child. Along with the, your first initial um, NOA, NOI, generally it's like a, I think it's three different checklists to find out why you're homeschooling. You check whatever one it is. The thing about homeschooling, I want to say on the paper, you have to at least have a high school diploma. If not, say if you have a co-op, um, the person that's um, in charge of doing that co-op will be the designated person that's, in, um, that's going to do the instruction for your child. So you can do it that way. Um, it's many different ways. However... Generally, you need at least a high school diploma to be able to sign up for homeschooling. Now, every state, of course, you can go to the um, state, the, the um, department, department of Education for your state, and you can print out their actual curriculum and their expectations for, let's just say, students in fifth grade. They'll have everything laid out. Now, it's up to you. You can use that curriculum or you could create create a curriculum designed for your child. So, or you can go purchase one. You could go purchase one. Um, now, purchasing the CAT test, you can purchase a CAT test and that test will show you because you can get the actual test um, where the child can test at their own speed. It's not timed. OK, and you can do it in a paper format. You can download it to where um, where you can go ahead and log into that site to where your child can take it on the site or oh, and they have a um, pretest or they have like the um, items that are really, really um, they basically have the curriculum on that test. So that printout itself, you can use as your guide to what you want to teach and implement for your child that school year. So what I like to do, I like to buy at least two grade levels. Generally, a lot of schools don't have time to, I guess you could say, refresh or, because you know, kids been out of school for a couple months or whatever. They don't remember, they don't remember that stuff. Okay, all of them don't care. So, I like to start the first couple of months and certain subjects and recall and go back. You know what I'm saying? Just reteach, whatever. And then we move into the meat and potatoes of the school year. So, again, you can use that test. You can use the CAT test to create what you're going to teach throughout the year. That will make it that much easier for you. Now, if you buy another curriculum, you could do it that way. You can go into a co-op in your area um it's a lot it's a it's it's a lot of um homeschooling communities out there um and tap into like go into your local facebook page 
and see, you know, your local home school Facebook page. There's a lot of great places. Like, you go to the YMCA for PE. There are um, people that teach art. Like, people that used to be teachers in the school system that just basically are art teachers. And they do really, really well with the kids. They have different um, activities and gatherings. Um, a lot of the museums and stuff give you discount days or have homeschool days. So it's a lot of different community. I mean, um, a lot of different things to take advantage in the community as far as homeschooling, especially when it comes to people that are concerned about their children not being able to engage with other kids, especially if they don't have siblings close to their age range, because it can be quite lonely. Um, so that's kind of how I get started. I go with my notice of intent. Now, what happens is once I send, I used to mail mine in. And one year, I never got a response. So, I try to make sure I email every year. So, this year, I emailed mine. I'm not going to say anything bad, but they didn't have it together. I was early, girl. I was early. So, when they got my paperwork, they told me who to send it to. And I sent it to her. She's always very nice and helpful. Um, she then told me to send, because I already had a previous year homeschooling so she probably went to check and see if she had any updated testing information so what she did was okay well you know send me the testing information and send me what you will be teaching this year i sent that over she sent me my form approving me to be able to homeschool just like that and then of course that is the easiest part but actually homeschooling is the part because honestly it's it's not traditional like so for the first couple years it's like unschooling um i think it becomes difficult for you and your child but if you can you can push through that first year to you can do anything so that's all i got for you because i don't want this video to be too long and plus i got some other things i need to do today but i look forward to coming back and talking a little bit more about this homeschooling thing all right